One day we got orders to storm a French position. We got in. And my comrades fell right and left of me. But then I was confronted by a French corporal. He with his bayonet at the ready and I with my bayonet at the ready. For a moment, I felt the fear of death. And in a fraction of a second, I realized that he was after my life exactly as I was after his. I was quicker than he was. I tossed his rifle away and I ran my bayonet through his chest. He fell, put his hand on the place where I had hit him, and then I trust again. Blood came out of, of his mouth and he died. I felt physically ill. I nearly vomited. My knees were shaking and I was quite frankly ashamed of myself. My comrades, I was a corporal there then, were absolutely undisturbed by what had happened. One of them boasted that he had killed the poor Lee with, his, with the butt of his rifle. Another one had strangled the captain, the French captain. A third one had hit somebody over the head with his spade. And they were ordinary men like me. One of them was a tram conductor, another one a commercial traveler. Two were students, the rest were farm workers, ordinary people who never would have thought to do any harm to anyone. How did it come about that they were so cruel? I remembered then that we were told that the good soldier kills without thinking of his adversary as a human being. The very moment he sees in him a fellow man, he is not a good soldier anymore. But I had in front of me the dead man, the dead French soldier, and how would I like him to have raised his hand? I would have shaken his hand and we would have been the best of friends because he was nothing like me, but a poor boy who had to fight, who had to go in with the most cruel weapons against the men who had nothing against them personally, who only wore the uniform of another nation, who spoke another language, but a man who had father and mother and a family perhaps. And so I felt. I woke up at night sometimes drenched in sweat because I saw the eyes of my fallen adversary, of the enemy, and I tried to convince myself what would have happened to me if I wouldn't have been quicker than he, what would have happened to me if I wouldn't have thrust my bayonet first into his belly. What was it that we soldiers stabbed each other, strangled each other, went for each other like mad dogs? What was it that we, who had nothing against them personally, fought, to them, fought with them to the very end in death? We were civilized people after all, but I felt that the culture we boasted so much about is only a very thin lacquer which chips off the very moment we come in contact with cruel things like real war. To fire at each other from a distance, to drop bombs is something impersonal, but to see each other's white in the eyes and then to run with a bayonet against a man that was against my conception and against my inner feeling. 
Anything else? That's beautiful.